showing you that I've got this, uh, this CDI unit here, which was not encased in some sort of uh, plastic or something. So I've got this CDI, and the project is to put that inside a homemade case. But I don't have the the plug. And then whilst I was looking on the internet for a plug, I realized this is a, a normal one. Right, so it was that plug I'm looking for so I can put it into a like a 3D printed case or something. And then I discovered something. is a fuse box it has two plugs now look at that plug there look it just turns out you've got a bit of light there look look at that plug the shape of it I'd say so if I put them together I'd say they look quite the same so the idea is I've got three of these spare. I oh, always wanted to look inside one anyway, so we'll pull one apart and uh, see if we can use that plug. Uh, so here's one I sort of prepared earlier. I drilled the plastic rivets out that they used to seal the box. Then you see that. Then you pull that out. Then you see that, so you can get rid of the case. So now you have this, right? Let's see if I can split this this plug off. It's this is one piece, but I'll have to desolder it to get it off, and then see if I can cleanly cut it down the middle here, so I can use that as a plug. Yeah. So this is the inside of your junction box, two relays and fuses, and that's it basically. That's all there is to it. So, let me unsolder all this and see if I can get this apart. Yeah, so once I desoldered everything off the board, this is what I was left with. Right, so I'm looking to use this part of the plug to fit into a 3D printed. into a 3D printed case. So I want to put that inside there basically. But let's see if we can split this. Alright, so uh, I had to chop it down because it was in fact too long by about four millimeters and uh, the plug wouldn't reach the pins. So uh, I'll put it on the bike and see, uh, see if the bike runs. So here's just like a really, really rough prototype that I printed out. It consists of a, a case and a lid. And uh, yeah, ignore the fact that it's ripped there. I did this 3D print without any infill, so there's no stability to it. But it's just to check that this actually fits in here. So 
that would go in there like that look and then the uh, and there's holes in here so you could screw it down they line up and then the lid goes on and that would be my prototype Oops. CDI box going to make a new box obviously this one was just to see if the dimensions fit which it does in fact that actually fits perfectly I took a guess at the the size of the out of the cutout I think that works quite well actually 